Well, now it's time to turn our attention to traveling during the holidays. Just a little heads up. If you're getting on a plane a week from today on the 15th, you might want to wear your ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah, that's because <laughs> that Alaska, <is> <laughs> yeah, and we have some of those too. Alaska Airlines offering early boarding. If you wear one of those, it's in celebration of National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day on the 15th. The day. Yeah. There you go. Well, Mary the Cicchini day. joins us now in studio to talk about ways to cut down on travel stress. Mm -hmm. I mean, before you head to the airport, you have to contend, first of all, with the packing, Mary. Absolutely. Mary is with Living Big Travel. So take us through some tips. I've heard about rolling, but you advocate for a stacking method. I I do. I prefer the stacking method I, because um, I find that if I roll everything, anytime I pull something out, I got to constantly re-roll and mm -hmm. re-roll. So what I do is before I leave, I fold everything in similar size vertical stacks. So see, everything's easy like this. You can just slide it in your bag, and then it also creates some space in between where I can pack in some socks or underwear, yeah. or some smaller items. Get a items. lot of stuff in there. Yeah, this works for me. An another one of your tips is to really think about what you're going to wear on the plane versus maybe what you're throwing in Absolutely. the bag. Absolutely, especially in the winter when you've got down jackets, you've got winter boots. Those wear on. those on the plane. I mean, you might have sacrificed style for a short while, but the extra well, space you'll get in your luggage is worth anyways. it. Yeah, yeah. And it's like a pillow. Exactly. It works great. And now we're intrigued here because you bought just disposable diapers in for. <laughs> packing segment. We thought we had the wrong guest, but what is this for? I swear by diapers to pack any anything that's fragile, anything that has liquid, because it's absorbent, it's padded, it's adhesive, and so you can go ahead and wrap it in. So this you is brought actually, this to kind yeah, of give us Ashley, a visual. let's see if you can do the honors oh, there. Yeah, go ahead, okay. wrap it. So if I have a perfume bottle, maybe. Perfume bottle. I actually first discovered this. I was on a trip to Italy, and I bought a little bit more wine than I thought, and I walked around town <laughs> thinking I could just find, like, whatever the Italian equivalent of a UPS store and buy some bubble wrap. Well, they didn't really really have it, but every pharmacy easy. Has and you have the little it attaches, yeah. so it's not going to fall easy out. Easy peasy. That's now, smart. is this for shampoo and conditioner as well? Actually, what I'm uh, sh showing here is, you know, a lot of people try to travel with gifts during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're fighting luggage and it's expensive now to check luggage, I always opt for experience-based gifts. So that could be memberships to a zoo. Um, the maybe a favorite restaurant, a spa. It's it's just a simple envelope, but then like me, I like to have something under the tree that's tangible sure. to unwrap. So go ahead and you get a plush animal toy to accompany the zoo membership or any favorite beauty products of the recipient. And you can even pick these up at the airport, so it's really easy. You have another tip, go on the offense. What does that oh, mean when you're you at the airport? Oh, you gotta go. This is like the amazing race of travel. So <laughs> if you're traveling during the holidays, if it's inclement weather, you have to anticipate there's going to be delays, cancellation. So rather than just wait for it to happen, you know you won't sleep that night anyway. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple different tools you can do to go on the offense. So often if it's um, crazy weather in Portland and flights are getting canceled left and right, airlines will actually waive their um, change fees. So if you have flexibility in your plans, you can actually right from the comforts of your home, change your departure to the next day or a few days from then. Um, also, if you're at the airport and then you realize you're going to miss a connection, you're going to miss a flight, what you can do is ra you know, rather than just wait in the line you know, with hundreds of other people right. to talk to the same same five customer service agents, like they're having a hard day. Get on the phone with them. the airline. Yep. I've even waited in line on the phone, and I'm also on my laptop. So there's you the gotta chats. find lots yep. of different ways to get yourself definitely on the offense. Yes, so get on the offense. Mary Cicchini with Living Big Travel is a blog. It's actually a, a travel company I started about four years ago for women. All so right. we uh, do a number of things to support women and their ambitions to travel. So the first thing is we host groups of women on trips around the world and here domestically. Next year we're heading to Thailand and Croatia, Iceland, Kauai, New York, and your and bags others. better be. Packed properly as we're going on that trip. We do. Mary, thanks yep. for coming by. Thank Happy you so holidays much for having to you. Me.